What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, um, uh, we're gonna be installing the wing again. As you guys can see, the last video it was off too. But um, I'm actually gonna try something different. I'm actually gonna try and mold the wing to the trunk. As you guys can see from the title of this video, we're gonna try and mold the wing to the trunk itself. Just so it looks like it just flows like like it originally came like that. I honestly been wanting to do this for a while and I've been thinking about it for a long time. Like um, instead of doing the double sided tape, like why not just mold it to the trunk itself? So um, that's what we're gonna be doing today or at least trying to do. I hopefully, hopefully it comes out good. I never done this before. So if you guys in the comments or if you guys that see this video do any type of body work, do not get on my head. So I never done this before, man. I do not have panel bond. I tried to go to the store and get some, but they didn't have any. So I'm just gonna try and like sand it all down and use the bondo to place the wing in place and go from there. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Let's get this wing on. Hopefully it comes out good. Guys, look at how ugly my trunk is right now. Look at that. It's super ugly. Well, we're gonna sand all this down anyways just to get it down to the bare metal and then we're gonna um, go ahead and put the wing on and place it wherever I want to place it I kind of have a general idea of where I want to place it I see pe some people they put it like all the way down here and it's just like that part goes into the wing but I kind of want to have it like up a little bit like kind of like how I had it before but it wasn't really on there as well as I wanted it to be just because it was the double-sided tape was like coming off and shit but hopefully this comes out really good but first guys, we're gonna wash the Z because the Z is absolutely filthy. I have not been driving it. It's super dirty. There's literally a spider web right there, bro. It's all type of stuff. Since I cleaned the headlights, bro, there's, it's literally been so dirty. I haven't cleaned it since. So we just finished cleaning up the Z and I got the trunk dried off. So we're gonna go ahead and start sanding. And you guys can see better now, like how bad the trunk really is. So we're gonna go ahead and sand all that down. All right guys, we just finished our first little bit of sanding. You can see the metal right there. And got some metal showing. So uh, we're pretty much done with the sanding on the trunk itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the wing itself to go on here and start the body work. But first I'm gonna um, go ahead and wipe it down with this alcohol right here. So we can get it nice and clean for the wing to go on. All right guys, so we got the duck bill mocked up. I got some tape because I don't have panel bond right now and I can't have the trunk stick to, well, I can't have the wing stick to the trunk yet. So I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna use this tape and work one side at a time. I'm gonna try and get the sides first with the body filler and then I'll work my way over to the other side so that I can get it to stay.
as you guys can see I got a little carried away and I already have a lot of body work done it's already dark I'm still going at it from here it honestly lo looks good I don't know if you guys can see it's not focused but I have to send down a lot but I already started to shape up the top it looks ugly now but it's coming along good side is all done it's not shaped up yet it's still ugly but it's coming along it's definitely on there that shit's not going nowhere i think this is going to be it for day one i'm going to come back tomorrow for day two probably finish this thing up or try to finish this thing up and at least get some primer laid on it and have it looking a lot better than it is now so with that being said let's go ahead and back this thing back up in here <laughs> guys so it's the next day i just got back from the gym and we're gonna hop right back on the z man so um last night i pretty much got it to this point right here it's kind of hard to see last night but um it's starting to shape together got the back it's not sanded down yet but um yeah man we're still trying to fill this in and it doesn't look that bad as you guys can see from like here Still got a lot of sanding to do, like a lot. But hopefully I can finish this today. I'm trying to get this done today. I'm not trying to waste no more time. Gotta get everything looking clean, presentable. I actually bought this yesterday. It's the Orbital Sander. And this has made my job so much easier. Now I don't have to sit here for hours by hand trying to sand everything down with this could just do it in like 10 minutes so hella excited that i got this so now i'm gonna sit you guys down i'm gonna put on a time lapse or something and we're gonna go ahead and keep working on it All right guys, I got this thing opened up. I actually sprayed it with some primer a little bit. So now, this is how it's looking. I know it looks super ugly right now, but I haven't got to sand any of this down yet. And it's not fully dry yet, so I don't want to mess it up. But I got some primer on there. And now it looks like it's actually like sculpted to the car, which is super cool. I like that a lot. That's fucking sick. This thing is not going nowhere at all. So I'm hella excited about that. And this shit back here is honestly pretty smooth. It doesn't look smooth, but it is. Just little lines here and there that I need to fill in. Okay guys, this is like, what, day three? Look at me. I'm all dirty, bro. I just got off of work, but, um, but we are still sanding. I don't want to bore you guys and just show you hella clips of me sanding in the car so i just been kind of like going at it for the past like day and a half and this is where we're at now like the shape is there bro like it's starting to come along it looks a lot better like the shape is there bro i'm super excited this is the best it's looked so far in the whole process i just need to after i do this i'm gonna hit it with some more primer because i did one layer of primer so far and I'm gonna hit it with another layer of primer and then I'm gonna like fill out all the little dips and like creases and stuff like that. Not, I don't know if they're called creases, but like little holes, like 
like the little tiny shit but for the most part i'm like i want to say like 80 percent done and i was kind of like just fine fine tuning it but the shape is there it's finally there and it looks fucking sick look at this mm. Mm. that's fucking sick it's gonna look so sick once it's done um but yeah man i'm gonna keep sanding this down and then i'm gonna pick up the camera again once i'm starting to hit it with some more primer and guys this is like the easiest like one of the, my favorite things i've done to my car so far like easy definitely one of my favorite i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm just like i don't know i feel like this is just me like this is me like doing something yourself like i don't know the feeling you get from doing something yourself is so much better than just paying someone else to do it it's like you got to experiment and try shit on your own like you'll you'll like appreciate it so much more whenever it's some shit that you did yourself like everything Alright guys, so we're back working on the Z. Um, I just started wiping it down with alcohol. Just finished wiping it down, just letting it dry for a little bit. Then I'm going to hit it with some primer and see how it looks after that. Okay guys, so the primer is just sitting on there, it's drying right now. Oh, look at it. Dude, I've never done anything like this before. This is so sick. This is crazy. A little bit more right here. On top. Dude, that doesn't look bad at all. That does not look bad. I'm honestly surprised. I surprised myself doing this. All right guys, so it's like day five or six. I don't even know anymore. But um, yesterday it got really dark on me, but I pretty much got this thing finished. The shape is there, it's all smooth. Um, I was just working on getting like the bumps that I have out. Um, and that's basically it guys. Um, next I'm just gonna sand down the sides so that um, it just lines up with the trunk because now it's, it's like kind of overflowing onto the headlight. That's why I got the tape there. The back is, almost done i need to sand it down a little bit more and i need to this side is almost done already as you guys can see up close there but it's all smooth i'm just gonna go and hit it with a higher grit of sandpaper to get everything ready for paint well i'm not gonna paint i'm gonna put primer on it so that then it's ready to wrap but for the most part this is done guys look at it it looks sick guys this is like I'm most proud of this out of everything I've done. This is so sick. I never thought that I'll actually be able to do it. I didn't expect it to go this smooth either. 
but it actually worked out. So I'm hella excited. All right guys, so this should be the last day that we're working on the wing on the 350Z. So basically, um, everything's all already shaped up. Everything's basically done. I just have to go through and fill out all the bumps and like little things, you know, like um, this right here, like just, just super small areas. And then we should be done today, but um, if you guys are thinking about doing this for 350Z, I highly recommend it. It's super easy. All you need is stuff that you can literally get at like O'Reilly's or AutoZone. Like you need sandpaper, you need body filler, and you need the wing of course, and like, um, and primer, that's it. So I highly recommend doing this if you haven't done it already. It looks sick. It takes a long time though, that's the only downside. Cause this is like what, day six? I don't know. Day six, day seven, like a week. It takes like a week to do it, but everything should be done today and then I'm gonna primer it and then once that's done and then we're gonna start and we're gonna start wrapping this thing because the wrap finally did come in like three days ago so I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about you guys. I already started spraying primer and everything. But this is how it looks. Um basically done. Well, this is all I'm gonna do. It's not perfect, but um this is just all I'm gonna do. I'm not a professional or anything. So this is my best. I ran out of body filler, so that's kind of why I'm like saying I'm done. But it's whatever. I'm just finishing up spraying this primer. But once the wrap goes on, you won't even be able to see most of the imperfections anyway, so I'm not even tripping. But it looks good for what it is. Like I said, I highly re um, recommend doing this if you haven't done this already. Well, that being said, guys, this is going to be the end of this video. I mean, it's basically done. And um, next, I'm just going to be disassembling the car and everything so that I can start wrapping this thing. So that's gonna be next video. And hopefully like in a week from now, the car will be done and I'll have a reveal for you guys. But for now, the wing is done. It looks super good. I'm super proud of it. It looks fucking sick. But yeah, with that being said, see you guys in the next video. All right guys, so this is the color. The rest of this video is gonna be in black and white. So, um, so you guys won't be able to cheat and see the color before time. But um, 